quick tip. When you do your marks, scratch them into the concrete if it's going to rain. If it's very tight, we might have to cut a few of the brick or maybe some of the block. Thursday the 21st of September at quarter to eight. We're back. We were back here, we were here last on Monday when we waited till three o'clock for the materials to come. And when they did come, the bricks were wrong. So we left as the bricks were picked up and taken back up to the, to the merchants. They've now been sorted. That's it. We'll fill you in later on. We haven't been here Tuesday, Wednesday. Basically the weather's that been that crap. Yesterday wasn't too bad in the afternoon, but it's no point coming out at one o'clock in the afternoon. So hit the ground running today and try and get this up to damp today so we can get the slab done. Quick tip. When you do your marks, scratch them into the concrete if it's going to rain. Because it's rained since we've marked this out with pencil and the pencil marks are gone. So make them permanent, like we used to when we did the foundations. School by error that. We we'll just get ourselves set out now. And we can get cracking. We've got our 350 blocks. Right, there we go. So far so good. A little tiny hump in the concrete, but nothing we can't handle. We've changed plans. We're now going to go for, because we've got loads of concrete blocks, custom wants us to use them on the outside too. So it's now concrete block and three face tight. I've waited on this gauge here, so. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, it's a um, concrete block on the inside, two courses, one course of concrete block on the outside, and three course of face brick. So that's uh, that's going to speed things up a bit. Um, saves us doing that cut all the way around. Um, and saves on a few bricks as well. So I'm going to get these in with the level because I can't get a line down because of this pipe. And then once that's in, I can get the get the block on and start running these blocking. Blue time, all the trench blocker in. Um, it's very tight, we might have to cut a few of the brick or maybe some of the block. Got a couple of pieces to go in here with the lintels. That was the side's done. So we'll come over the top now with the block, which we've got plenty of. So we'll catch you after break.
all that rascals on doing overtime today. Tearing through the bricks because I've done that old thing that, which I keep telling everyone not to is, is assumptions. And I've assumed that those concrete lintels are 140, which bed up to 150. Those lintels measure 155. So I did all the cuts underneath and they were wrong. That's to redo them, both sides. So that lintel is, is, is 15 mil too deep. 15 mil. So that threw me. And then the levels, the block work on the inside works gauge. But because we put the extra block in, we were going to put a 100 mil cut in there and have extra brick. But because we said they put the block in, so I worked it out. I thought, yeah, the gauge is okay. The gauge isn't okay. These bricks are 75 mil minimum. So there's no room for us to bed these down. Which means that all the block work we've done on the outside means we've got to cut, cut the brick down to 60 mil to gauge it in. So I've done most of these. Got all those to cut yet. And on this side where it's not seen, I'm just going to cut the bricks today and then cut the blocks. Because obviously it's quicker cutting the blocks down. And then it'll be, when it gets there, it'll drop down and be full brick across there. Which is going to be backfilled. So yeah, making assumptions again has cost us time again. I'm still pretty confident we're going to get up to damp and ready for the slab today. I'm that confident because we've got to. Because we need to be prepping this slab tomorrow. Getting it all backfilled and everything. And um, probably put a mix of concrete in for filling the cavity. Because we've got a deep cavity now. I suppose we could really have done two lots of trench, but we wouldn't have much of a cavity on top then. So yeah, we're going to have a dinner now while the batteries are charging. That's the batteries. And then hit it hard when we come back. But whatever happens, this is going to be up to damp and ready for slab today. This power tool is just making things a little easier for us. No leads trailing in and out. We've got the little drill for doing our tyres. And then, uh, yeah. This will be nice and tidy later and all this brick work will be finished. So catch you later. After the, there you go. We have a plan. There are Alex's doors set out in on the internal. Obviously the floor comes through. Um, I'm sort of on with the cuts. Our dimensions and our levels are all sorted. So I just need to get the, uh, the rest of the cuts done with the saw, which has been charging over dinner. So we've got Right, so it's a 90 minute charge, but we've actually had quite a short dinner today. We've definitely not been 90 minutes. So I'll swap them over now, get the rest of the cuts done, and that's it then. We can split it. There's not le much left on this side for Alex to do, so obviously the block work inside's finished. So um, once he's um, done the mix, which he's going to do now, tip that out, get another mix in, we can get it blitzed this afternoon and just as quick as we can, so we can get home at a decent time. I'm sure Dad's cut you up, but 
Now, all the cuts should be done. Should be. Bloody hope so. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, now we're on to getting this ready for slabbing or prepping for slabbing tomorrow. So, we can't use water suppression for cuts that you're not about to use. Especially so bricks. You'll be cutting soaking wet. So, seven newton concrete blocks. And bricks. And the bricks are damp already. We need to be setting them straight away. Yeah. So. And there's a, there's a breeze in the air, so it's just go, it's going away. Yeah, it's called a. There's the breeze. <laughs> 18 volt breeze. And there you go. So Dad's got that that bit there now. He's just got two more courses to go on the outside, and that's ready. And obviously his internals. My internal side is finished because there's the doorway. I'm just going to get my three courses in now. I've got all set up with my fits brick. So there we go. And I've also uh, the old classic way I used to do it on the foundations. Yeah, we'll uh, set you up so you can uh, enjoy the enjoy the poetry. Don't miss footings. It's three o'clock, all the hassle's over, all the cuts are done. Pain in the arse cuts and all that, and all cuts. Well that's give us our, well, sorted now. Lintel's on, doorway's set out. Just need to drop a block in there when the face works up. So we need to get, the priority is get the two ends up now. So it's ready for slab. This can be left down if we run out of mortar. That goes up if we've got the mortar. This is the priority. Alex oh, just got his corner up. So he's ready to run that in. I'm ready to run this. We might as well just have an end each. As long as we've got enough brick in. I don't know how I'm going to get out. I don't know how I'm going to get out. I'm I have trouble stepping over that. Never mind stepping over that. 
Yeah, so I'm sick of saying it's been a frustrating day, but it has. I'm just, I'm just happy we're working. Yeah, just glad to be here. It is Thursday, it's the first. We, we sat here Monday all day and then set out at 3 o'clock when we home. And then when we got here this morning, all the marks were done and washed away. So, reset it out. Yeah. So, as we've gone along, we've, we've done the trench block, checked the measurements, done the four inch block, checked the measurements, put the corners up, checked the measurements. So now we're at DPC, we're all good to go. I've checked the gauge on this extension and that's okay, it just about works. So big push to get these two sides up now. Any more that's left over we'll throw down that side. Well, we'll put some bricks down that side. Do this.
on the front. There is a piece in it, a piece under the door and I think we might end up with a piece here. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Okay, so done. Ready for slab up to that corner and I'll go and help Alex now. Nice. so I can put a uh, thing to it.
Dad, do you want a drink? I'll have a coffee, please. Thank uh, you. I'm all right for now, thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. Still out, Al. Yeah. Where is it? I oh, think it's behind to. you there, Dave. Right on the bricks. Real? Yes, please. Make sure we drill them into the bricks. The joint is still out. Yeah. There's one. Nice close, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so. Do you want to get out? No, I'll get the rest. I'll put the rest of them brick in there. I'll do that, but well, you get the mix sorted. I'll do it. I'll just tie it up. I'll do it. Okay. Right, I'll just get these in as well. The, uh, we forgot to do an outro so I will have to do it from here so thank you everybody so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give us a like and if you're new to the channel you want to see more be sure to subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always know when we upload it's a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support and any extra support you want to give which isn't necessary there's the super thanks option which you just scroll there hit thanks done and Dad wanted me to let you know that the PayPal is now here, because some people have asked. You just click on the description to show more, and then there is our handle for our PayPal. So, again, not necessary, but greatly appreciated. So, this has been Lounging at Home with Steve and Alex, and we will see you in the next one.